Hello, everybody. It's Charlie again. I'm currently playing Kingdoms of Amalur. Re-Reckoning. Um, another game I've never played. Just missed out on. I don't know if this is like a remaster of some kind, but I heard something like that. Regardless, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, shit. From the beginning, guys. Into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made? We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world okay. awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have I like the armor. What might be Looks pretty cool. This rising tide. What force might awaken? A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faithful. Oh! Shit! Get his head cut off. But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us. I like it. It started really brutal already. <laughs> he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like there no we go. Had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Oh, shit. Oh, split his skull. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha De Aon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. Mm. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Which two of us have fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fae do not know This is pretty cool, it's like an epic battle. Ooh! Okay, that ended very quickly. For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew the fuck was that? a matter of time. Oh, shit. See, it's dated. The, you could tell in the movement and the graphics, but it's fine. It looks it looks good. It's a little dated, but, you know. Speaking of which, Europeans use blunt swords. Northern Europeans use blunt swords, usually. So the weight of the sword could break bone. It was to hit armor. So a lot of, a lot of people are like, man, those weapons don't seem that sharp, and it's because they weren't supposed to be. It's the weight of the sword. They were really heavy swords. So even if the person didn't cut you or stabbed you, you would still get hurt. It would shatter like bone, you know? It's pretty interesting. Obviously, it was more clumsy the way they fought because it's such a heavy weapon and they had armor, so they had too much weight to be technical. But there is still some technical stuff that, to learn there because I think somebody has a channel on that. Trolls? Eyes on the job, boy. <laughs> Don't matter what it is. That's funny looking. It's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report. See, the graphics aren't bad. It just looks dated. Like, something about it is obviously not a new game. But, um, let's go ahead and see what do we have here. Hardened by the high seas. The Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Oh. Ancient people from the frozen lands of the north judge themselves fit to the divine right from wrong under wind, sun, and sky. Okay. This guy is a human guy. Our warlike and religious nation of storied origin. Many Elmain come to the Feylands seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. So I guess these two are the humans, but they don't come from the same place. These are the tougher dudes here. Dakal Far. Are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly. 
and with grace or efficiency efficiently in silence mm. this, this one sold me with the pirates and mercenaries so I'm gonna go ahead with them fire none what do you guys think I don't know got a fire in patron of the forge God of War, Patreon of Fishing and Sailing. God of War, Battle and Tactics. Ooh. God of Death. You know what? I'm going to go with God of Death. <laughs> I know that I'm kind of weird, but fuck it. Let's see. Preset. Oh, they have all kinds of people. Um... This is the one I like to own, so I'm probably this dude. Skin tone. What do we got here? There's all kinds. I need a really neutral skin tone. Oh, that's super white, so I'm guessing olive complected, like right here. I mean, that's fine. Eye color. White, how about white eyes? Oh, you can't do the white eyes? Alright, yeah, whatever. Let's go with eye shadow color. Let's make him look like Marilyn Manson. I don't know if you guys know who Marilyn Manson is. I don't think he, I don't know if he still makes music, but he was a real big deal when I was uh, when I was younger. Eye shadow darkness. Yeah, we he's a pirate, so he has to look like he doesn't sleep. Stubble color? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, the more the more like a pirate he looks, the better. Intensity. That's the amount of hair you have on the stubble. I don't know. I'm gonna go with this. This is this is fine. You gotta admit, my character looks cool. It's a preset, but whatever. Deal. That's right. Anything else we need? I think I thought we were gonna be able to choose his voice, like in um, you know, the, some of the other RPGs that I played. But that's cool. Stig Gennar. I'm gonna pick a cool name. Guts. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yes. Because he's brave, get it? <laughs> brave? <laughs> well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Oh shit, they're dumping his ass? Oh. What the fuck is going on? a lot of fucking dead bodies. This is, this is yeah, fucking gross. I know, lately I'm into creepy games. <laughs> I don't have to be technically horror games. I could just be like really weird and creepy, you know? You know what I do like? The art style isn't bad. I guess this is this is when a game has good art style, they're able to remaster it and then never looks too terrible. You know what I'm saying? That the the basically what I'm saying is the art style dictates what how long the the graphics are gonna hold up for the next few years. You know? Cell shaded, everybody knows that that just holds up always because cell shaded graphics, you know. But they can still look dated. Wait. I gotta find out what his moves are. Block? Do I need a sword or something? Whoa. 
Can you jump? Oh. I don't think there's a jump button. Find a way out. Deal. I'm dumping bodies and shit like that. Oh, that guy's roasted. I like him well done. Loot rusty sword, yes. Or long sword. You have acquired new items to see your new items. Okay. Mm. Abilities, moves, quests, inventory, weapons. There we go. Equipped. Now we're talking. Oh, let me see. Okay, roll. Kind of moves like a like mortal shell, just qu a little bit quicker, obviously. What the hell? Oh, really? Holy shit. Are these fucking rats? That's fucking gross. Rats creep me out, guys. I, out of every other... Every animal... Not the snake, not the reptiles. None of those bother me. But rats, they're just so gross. Stay away. You know? It's a very basic fighting mechanic, but it works for this game, you know? Yeah, let me get those coins, bro. Eerie and dark environments. Hold on. I'm on my way. Mortal skull, I'm gonna show your ass how to do this. Oh shit, is that a stamina bar? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was. It's it's mostly action style gameplay. I wouldn't say it's mortal shell style. I thought it would be. No problem. Yeah, you dumped my ass, though. Mm -hmm. you, you were dead. Yeah. By the tome it worked. You're alive. Mm, what happened to me? I'm not dead. Uh, what happened to me? You died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the well of souls, and somehow it worked. Well restored your soul to your body Wow, resurrection. Um, who is Hughes? Who are these attackers? I have some questions myself. Alright, sounds like a plan. Where is Hughes? Yeah, that'll be the first question, obviously. Ground floor. Got it. Attackers. You don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha Deo, the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen this. Interesting. Death. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. Oh. We would have never done that if we knew. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So they weren't trying to fucking kill me or anything. The well of souls is just ahead. You'll see. And, and it works. It restored you to life. There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. All right. Sounds good. I'm about done. You know what I do like? The voice acting is very good. The lip sync is a little off, but, you know, I told you guys. This is an old game, so. What are you going to do? Yeah, some loot. Old boots. Let's fucking equip. 
classic RPG style. Inventory. Consumables now. Armor. Yeah. I need to wear these boots. Wait. Oh, there we go. See? Little by little, that's how RPGs are. But I think it's more of an action RPG by the way that he moves, but... I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me if you played this game or not. So far, I think it's pretty good. It reminds me of a lot of other games. But yeah, I did miss this one when it came out, so... Oh shit. I like green, man. It shit looks. I like glowing shit, you know? <laughs> pretty... Holy fuck. That looks like the Mortal Kombat Tower. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Ooh, that's graphic. We need to get you, Professor Hughes. Yes. Okay, there's nothing else to talk about. So this is hell? Sounds like it's a bunch of dead souls. Open the door. Do you, that's what I like about protagonists that don't talk. You basically just do the voice for them. <laughs> Practice your voice acting. I kind of am interested in becoming a voice actor, but I don't know how to go about it. If you guys know anything, let me know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, maybe armor? Yeah. There we go. Got a shield now. Less dodging, more blocking, I guess. Alright. If you guys don't like looking through menus, then yeah, RPGs may not be your flavor of the week. But I honestly don't mind. It feels good for you to, you know, acquire things and kind of set it up the way you want. Wait. Do you hear something? Oh shit, what the fuck? Wait, wait, hold on a second. I didn't equip the shit. How did I not equip it? Oh, I hit the wrong one. Shields are located in your inventory. I mean... Maybe it comes out? Radio consumable. Additionally, you can also add consumables to your... Okay. Um... Okay. What the hell? Oh! oh okay, it comes out. It's a magic shield. Gotcha. It's not bad. It feels like an old school PS2 game, you know? I don't know if it is. But I think that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Where? Oh, that longbow's bound to be useful. Longbow? Well, explain to me where it is because, bro, don't be rushing me, okay? You asked me to pick up the longbow, and now you're like. I don't want to leave without it. <laughs> oh, okay. That was dumb. You get equipped with a bow too? Maybe the bow is magical. <clears throat> Secondary weapon. Nice. So yeah, the weapons are... Okay, the bow is shown, but the shield isn't until you pull it out. So, there you go. Oh, you want me to practice some bow action? Oh shit, it's pretty simple to shoot the bow. I like it. What a pleasant surprise. It auto aims when you press triangle. I kind of like that mechanic. I know some people don't like the... You know, when something takes over for you or whatever. But some some things are, are fine that way, you know, in my opinion. 
Tattered documents. What? How would you like to loot? I mean, whatever. Let's keep going. Uh oh, epic battle. Okay. No, no, I'm good. Rusty leg plates. Yay, more armor. Hold on. See, this is basically RPG style here. Um, no. I'm supposed to go to armor. Rusty leg plates. Or crude or iron. No, rusty leg plates. There we go. See? I'm looking fly, man. I'm ready for combat. Combat, get it? Combat. Never mind. <laughs> the fuck did I just pick up daggers? Yeah, but I already have the secondary bow weapon. See, it's very linear. It makes you think that it's open world, but it's not. And this kind of game is perfect linear, to be honest. Then again, I'm not sure, because there might be an an open world aspect. Oh. I'm gonna kill you. We got stealth kills. Nice. Let's see if I, if I can do it. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, shit. Oh, I like the way it sounds when it hits the shield. Wow. I'm getting the hang of it. Wait, somebody's... Okay. I thought there was something else going on. Oh, we can't jump down. What about here? Open the door. Ooh. Magical shit. Oh, I see. Abilities. Cool. Okay. They have the MMO thing where you hit one of these and then you pick an ability. Or RPGs have it too, you know. Hadouken! I don't know. I just got here, buddy. I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to take it. T take. Mm. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. I don't want to make this too long. It's pretty good game. I'm definitely gonna do a second playthrough, so yeah, look out for that. Other than that, hope you guys like it. Subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, Cooking. <laughs>